What's going on guys, Scope Scripter here. This is gonna be a super short video and I will be teaching you guys how to make infinitely generating terrain on Roblox Studio really quickly, really easily, just like you're seeing right here. So if you wanna know how to do that, stick around and you'll find out. All right, so let's get started. All right, so as you can see here, there's a block. This, if you haven't already guessed it, is the terrain generator. Essentially how this works is the generate script basically tells this block, okay, fill up with terrain and it does so and that's what you know generates the terrain it basically fills itself up with terrain this you don't have to worry too much about that's just the move script um i'll leave both of these scripts down in the description the move script is basically just pulling it forward while the terrain is generating so that it can you know generate infinitely and create massive maps which i'm assuming that's the reason why you're here is to you know do that so let me just open up this generate script real quick so i can show you guys how to customize this and then i'll go over some other stuff afterward all right, so the important things you need to know when customizing this is, first of all, you might want to change the material. Say you don't want grass, let's say you want basalt for some reason. Right here where it says edem.material, you want to, after the dot, start typing whatever material you want. It has to be a terrain material, but if it's in terrain, it works. So for example, basalt, that is a terrain material or brick, let's say. So now if we run this, instead of grass generating, it will be brick. So that will work perfectly fine, whatever terrain material you place in here. For now, I'm just going to keep it on grass, because why not? Um, the other important thing that I want you guys to know is right here where it says script.parent, and right here where it says, oh, come on, where is it? Oh yeah, right here where it says script.parent again. So it says it in two places, right here and right here. So basically what this is doing is it's, you know, grabbing, you know, the information for where the generation part is. now. Why is this important? Well, if you somehow screw this up or make this sync to the wrong block, um, then it'll start generating from, you know, a random part that's maybe called something different or, you know, that you don't want generating or even worse, it won't generate at all. So let me just explain to you how you can, you know, make sure that it's the right part. When I do script.parent, it's making sure that the parent of this script is generating, which would be this part. So just make sure that you always put script.parent over here and script.parent over here if the script is inside this part. All right, so let me just give a quick example of what to do if this script was in workspace. So let's say the generate script is in workspace. You delete script.parent and you'd put game.workspace.generating part because that is the name of our generating part that we want to generate. And then you do that same exact thing right here. Just make sure that your script is always, always, always pulling back to the part or you know piece whatever you want to call it that is actually you know generating your terrain that you want to generate your terrain so that's kind of all i want to discuss about that and another thing i wanted to add was i got the script from the roblox dev form there's a whole article on just terrain how it works how you can influence it so let me just pull that up all right so here it is there's a lot of stuff um if you guys want to, you know, go check out this video, I will be linking that in the description because that's kind of important. If you guys want to, you know, learn a little bit more about that. Um, so yeah, the only thing I changed about the one that I copied from the dev form was I put it in an infinite loop. As you can see right here, uh, I also put a little wait, you know, thing right there. Um, but anyways, what this infinite loop does is it loops through this, well, you know, infinitely. And every time it loops through this, it will check and fill up this part with terrain. So yeah, infinite terrain generation, boom, there you go. It's not that hard. But um, yeah, even I just like kind of found this out today. But all it took was a few simple Google searches. So uh, I, I really hope this helped, I truly do. Um, if this video does well, I'll probably do a more advanced version of this, you know, how to do this. Um, so like, subscribe, whatever you want to do, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.